As promised, we have come to the Thani Creek Flamingo Sanctuary, also known as the Airoli Bridge Flamingo Sanctuary. This is located near Airoli and uh, I will put the directions uh, in the uh, description box. Today I was hoping to get a boat ride and watch the flamingos, but unfortunately when I went to the ticket counter, they said that it's a public holiday as well as a weekend and uh, most of the boats are already booked. So plan your travel in advance and you can call the number given in the description box. Even if you miss the boat ride, do not be disheartened because this coastal and marine biodiversity park also has a knowledge center. The major attractions at this center are the vibrant and colorful exhibits of the rich coastal and marine biodiversity observed in the Thani Creek Flamingo Sanctuary. As you walk through, you will see different types of birds and other amphibians who thrive on this mangrove forest. This is one of the exhibit where you can see the flamingo. In my last video, I had mentioned about the two flamingos uh, which are commonly seen. Uh, one is the lesser flamingo and the second one is the greater flamingo. Now this is the uh, audio visual room where they will show you a small clip of the entire biodiversity park as well as several photographs taken locally. So the center is divided into different uh, uh, sections. Now this is the mangroves and intertidal biodiversity section. Along with the pictures they have also included the sounds of the birds uh, which are seen here. This is the sound of the kingfisher bird. Let's hear how the flamingo sounds like. Now we are entering the marine biodiversity section. Now the best part of the center is that they use a mix of visual, audible and tactile elements to sensitize visitors to the beauty of the coastal and marine biodiversity in Maharashtra. The section is not only for the kids but also for the people of different age group and we can see that there are many people, not only the kids but also the adults uh, enjoying uh, this biodiversity park. Now that we have seen the information center, let's walk towards the jetty and see if we can spot any birds.